Hi students, today we are going to see design of FAR filter by Fourier series method. So design procedure of FAR filter by Fourier series method. Step one is to choose the desired frequency response of the filter HD of E power J omega. So sometimes they might give the HD of E power J omega in the problem statement or sometimes they may give this type of filter alone. We have to take the desired frequency response. Uh, step two, take uh, inverse Fourier transform of HD of E power J omega to obtain the desired impulse response HD of N which is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 plus pi HD of E power J omega into E power J omega N into D omega. Step 3 convert the infinite duration HD of N to the finite duration. So uh, here uh, the finite duration will be of minus of N minus 1 by 2 to N minus 1 by 2 where your capital N is nothing but the number of samples. And step four is to take your uh, Z transform of H of N. So H of Z is equal to Z power minus uh, N minus one by two summation N equal to minus of N minus one by two to N minus one by two H of N Z power minus N. Since uh, the duration is minus of N minus one by two to plus N minus one by two, to so, uh, convert the non-causal system into a causal system, this term is multiplied. And step five is to determine the frequency response H of E power J omega from your H of N. So uh, here in this one, the, the trick is how to identify. Suppose if they didn't give, uh, if they didn't mention about the type of filter, how to identify from the H of E power J omega uh, they have given in the statement. So have to check uh, how many number of cutoff frequencies they have given in the problem statement. So either it will be one or it will be two. So if the cutoff frequency or uh, the type of filter, you have four five type of filter, low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop. So if your number of cutoff frequency is one, so it belongs to either low pass filter or high pass filter. So here uh, the uh, minus pi to plus pi slot is uh, segmented into two parts as zero to pi and uh, zero to minus pi. So the cutoff frequency omega c will be placed in between 0 to pi and minus omega c will be placed in between 0 to minus pi. So if the HD of E power J omega is defined for the range of minus omega c to plus omega c, then the filter is said to be low pass filter. Suppose if the uh, HD of E power J omega is defined for minus pi to minus omega c and omega c to pi, then the filter is said to be high pass filter. So suppose if the number of cutoff frequency given is 2, it belongs to either band pass filter or band stop filter. So your uh, minus pi to plus pi will be segmented as 0 to pi and 0 to minus pi. You have two cutoff frequency as omega c1 and omega c2. So it will be placed uh, between 0 to pi and minus omega c1 and minus omega c2 will be placed in between 0 to minus pi. Uh, if the HD of E power J omega is defined for the range of minus omega C2 to minus omega C1 and omega C1 to omega C2, then the filter is nothing but band pass filter. Suppose if the filter is defined for minus pi to minus omega C2, minus omega C1 to plus omega C1 and omega C2 pi, then the filter is said to be band stop filter. So this is a desired frequency and impulse response of low pass, high pass, band pass and band stop filter. So instead of uh, uh, minus pi to minus omega c and omega c to pi, so they'll be giving in terms of modulus omega. So here the desired uh, impulse response will be categorized as n is not equal to 0 and n is equal to 0. Let us solve a problem. Design an ideal low pass filter with a frequency response using Fourier series method n is equal to 11. HD of E power J omega is equal to 1 for minus pi by 2 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to pi by 2 and 0 for pi by 2 less than or equal to modulus of omega less than or equal to pi. So, uh, what type of filter it is? So, here it is they have given it as a low pass filter. What is the cutoff frequency here? So, the cutoff frequency given is pi by 2. Uh, doing the problem here. So step one is to choose the desired frequency response of the filter HD of E power J omega. So instead of uh, substituting your uh, 
cutoff frequency pi by 2. So keep your value as omega c so that at the end we'll be uh, substituting the value of omega c. So your HD of e power j omega is equal to 1 for minus omega c to omega c and 0 for uh, remaining values here. Step 2 was to obtain the impulse, desired impulse response HD of n. So your HD of n is equal to 1 by 2 by integral minus by omega c to plus omega c. HD of e power j omega into e power j omega n into d omega. So replace your HD of e power j omega and then your uh, for the cutoff frequency the value is 1. So replace it and it just integrated. So e power j omega n integration is nothing but e power j omega n divided by j n. So upper limit minus lower limit will give you e power my, uh, j omega c n minus e power minus j omega c n divided by 2 pi j n. So e power x minus e power minus x by 2 j is nothing but sin x. So we can write your hg of n as sin omega c n divided by your pi n. So for n is not equal to 0. Suppose for n is equal to 0, your hg of n becomes 0 by 0 because sin 0 is 0 and then pi into n is pi into 0 is 0. So it is interdeterminate case. So apply a hospital rule which states that limit equal to 0, the HD of n is equal to omega c to pi. So uh, now the HD of n for n is not equal to 0 and n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 0. Replace your omega c as pi by 2 according to the problem statement. So uh, pi by 2 divided by pi for n is equal to 0, pi pi get cancelled. So the value will be 1 by 2. So step 3 is to obtain the finite uh, filter. So uh, from the infinite uh, Your HD of n is nothing but uh, H sin pi by 2 of n divided by pi n for n is not equal to 0. So you just replace it for minus 5 to plus 5. So HD of n uh, minus 5 is equal to your HD of 5 uh, sin uh, pi by 2 into your 5 divided by pi into 5 open bracket 5 into pi. So the calculator should be in radian mode. So sin open bracket shift pi divided by 2 into 5 close bracket divided by open bracket pi into 5 close bracket so a equal to you will get your answer as this way so you have another uh, method you can use your calculate method after getting the first value you can go for the calculator uh, sign open bracket pi by 2 into alpha a so next to the shift button you'll be having your alpha button in the calculator so alpha a. So, uh, the other button of your um, unary minus will be your A. Close bracket divided by open bracket pi into alpha A close bracket. Then you have to press equal a question mark will be displayed in your calculator so now change your uh, a value as 4 3 2 1 so the value will be up there. so just 4 equal to the value will be there so again equal to press if you press your equal to a will be <coughs> a will be uh, a with the question mark will be there so you just uh, replace your n value and all the values can be obtained simultaneously so HD of 0 is going to be 0.5. So uh, replace your A value as minus 5 to your plus 5. The value will be of this way. Minus 5 will be equal to 5 plus 5. Minus 4 will be equal to plus 4. Step 4 is to get your uh, Z transform. So H of Z is equal to Z minus N minus 1 by 2. Uh, into summation n equal to minus of n minus 1 by 2 2 plus n minus 1 by 2 h of n z power minus n. So here uh, uh, as we saw it in the filter coefficient, so your minus of n minus 1 by 2 to 
minus 1 is equal to 1 to n, n minus 1 by 2. So you are taking your h of 0 out plus uh, this limits can be changed as 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z power minus n plus z power plus n. So expand this one, summation. So here z power minus 11 minus 1 by 2 is going to be 5 x of 0 plus this one substitute your uh, expand the summation by substituting your n value as 1 to 5. So it's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, uh, and then you just substitute your filter coefficient h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, h of 4 and h of 5. Now multiply the z power minus 5 throughout. So you'll be getting your transfer function h of z. Step 5. To determine the frequency response of h of e power j omega from h of n. So your uh, h of n, your n is going to be an anti-symmetric, your h of n is going to be an anti uh, sorry, uh, symmetric and uh, your n is going to be odd. Your h of e power j omega is equal to h of n minus 1 divided by 2 plus summation n equal to 1, n minus 1 by 2, 2 h of n minus 1 by 2 minus n into cos of omega n. So this formula is a so uh, you just replace all your n minus 1 by 2 and uh, expand this summation so you'll be getting this one so substitute your filter coefficient h of 0 to h of 5 to get your frequency response so the last one is to draw the structure here the number of samples is uh, 11 so 0 to uh, 0 to 10, so uh, 10 is divided into 2 parts, 5 upper 5 and lower 5. So this will be your z power minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Again, it comes here as minus 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So your z power 0 will be added with your z power minus 10. So minus 1 will be added with minus 9. Minus 2 is added with minus 8. Minus 3 is added with minus 7. So, minus uh, 4 is added with your minus 6 and this is your z power minus 5. So, the corresponding uh, filter coefficients is your plotted and the structure has been drawn. So, similar way how uh, the, the, the problems can be asked in this uh, variety here is uh, design a FIR band pass filter to attenuate the signal from 1.2 radian per second to 1.8 radian per second with n equal to 11 using Fourier series method. Here they have given the filter as band pass stop filter directly. And here omega C1 and omega C2 is different. 1.21, 1.8 radian per second and n is equal to 11. If you apply that five steps procedure, you'll be able to get your answers here. So instead of this radian per second, they might have given in terms of hertz too. So if it's so, uh, you have to use the formula 2 pi So uh, next is you design an ideal FAO filter with a frequency response. Uh, find the value of your H of n for n equal to 11. So they have given, they didn't mention uh, anything about your filter type. So uh, from this uh, function uh, given, you have to identify. So first you just check how many different uh, cutoff frequencies they have. So either it will be a flow pass filter or high pass filter. And here the value is defined for uh, minus pi to minus pi by 4 and pi by 4 to pi as your omega value is given in terms of your modulus. So this belongs to high pass filter. Your omega c is pi by 4 and n is 11. So now design a FAR band pass filter to pass the signal from 1.2 radian per second to 1.8 radian per second with n equal to 11 using Fourier series method. So here they have given your filter as band pass filter and omega c1 and omega c2 is 1.2 and 1.8. So normally the lower value will be your omega c1 and the larger value will be your omega c2 and n is equal to 7. Thank you students.